I've always wanted to be a firefighter since I was in kindergarten. I would go down, I would hear the fire whistle go off, and I would run down the end of my street and I'd wait for the fire trucks to come down to the end of my street and cheer them on and wave them on. <laughs> but yeah, ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to join. Um, I have a lot of family family members in the fire company, over in other fire companies in Flower Town and in Winmore, and I always looked up to them as a role model to um, to kind of join join in the fire company and help my community a little bit more. Yes. The Thorntons have been keeping care of uh, all the fires around here for a long time. Who else? Who else is working with you? Um, my brother's in the fire company with me here at Wasaken. Um, I have an uncle over in Flower Town Fire Company. Two uncles over in Flower Town Fire Company. Um, my uncle Joe and my uncle Mike. And then I have my uncle Eddie and Winmore Fire Company with, along with my two cousins Brian and Edward, um, in the fire company over there. So a lot of family members. Um, and that's what kind of got me into to being wanting to become a firefighter. Um, to watch them when they when my uncle always went to fire calls at like the the family dinners or always listen to the radios, so I always thought it was kind of neat. Right now, I'm a regular uh, firefighter. Um, come in whenever we get a call. Uh, we have Monday night drills. We train every Monday night. We have cer certain certifications we have to do um, uh, by the standard of, of Pennsylvania. Uh, we have like firefighting one, which allows you to go into a burning building. And we also have different like vehicle rescue certifications and and all kind of certifications uh, to allow you to do all the, the, the work that we do. Just the Fire One certification alone is around 200 hours. Um, a lot of class work, uh, a lot of book work, homework, and then we also have a lot of hands-on training um, dealing with in like realist, realistic situations. Um, we'll throw ladders, um, cut roofs, learn how to cut roofs, and learn how to do kind of set up a search and rescue team in a burning building. I love it. I love what I do every single day. Um, whether it's only like a little fire alarm uh, to a business, um, to a actual fire call at all. Every single time the fire whistle goes off, you always gotta be prepared. But aren't you afraid? I mean, how do you, you don't know what you're gonna get into and you do this at risk of life and limb. How do you, how do you get through that? I, I don't really think about it too much. Um, I kind of know that God is there to help me. I don't usually get afraid. Um, it's kind of all in like an adrenaline rush. And the first the fire or the pager goes off, it's like, oh, what is it? I gotta get to the firehouse. I gotta go. Get, gotta go. Uh, gotta get on the truck. Um, but never really afraid. I know that. Uh, I know that God's there to help me uh, and help the whole every member here um, stay safe and, and come back to the firehouse after our do one duty calls. Uh, just a couple weeks ago, um, the sermon that was in church, who was saying how basically we were put on this earth to uh, help other people. Um, God put us on this earth to uh, help one another, help our neighbors. Um, and that really made me look back into what I do every day as either a firefighter or as, or as, a, as a Christian, um, helping other people. It's coming clear to me that you, this is still a volunteer job and it takes so many hours and so much training and so much of your time just unexpectedly that you have to jump to and serve. Um, but how do you pay the bills? You're gonna have to have a daytime job or something to keep you supported. What What is your plan? Yes, the, well, the fire company is 100% volunteer. Um, we have all guys have second jobs other than the firehouse. Um, so I myself, I work with my dad as a, as a chimney sweep full time, all part time. I go to school in the morning and then I, then I go to my work in the, in the afternoon. Um, yeah, that's what pays the bills and... It's interesting that you're uh, kind of one hand feeds the other. We, uh, you clean the chimneys so there's no fire and then you run when there is a fire. It's kind of all in the same. <laughs> yes, um, uh, I actually, we keep, my brother and I keep uh, cards in our jackets, our, our, our business cards. So if we ever show up to a, a chimney fire or a, uh, a call where um, there's a fireplace going wrong, we always go up and ask him, like, oh, here's our card, like, give us a call um, while we're on the fire call. And everyone jokes about it at the firehouse, so. <laughs> well, thank you, and we pray that God watches over you and all your family and all the firefighters because you are uh, fearlessly generous with all you're doing. Thanks. Thanks for having me.